Hi there YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you a quick video of how to reseat the RAM on a Dell Optiplex uh, 380 or a 745 or a 755. And uh, this is uh, something that you sometimes have to do when you buy one of these computers and they're shipped. Uh, sometimes any computer uh, where, where things might be loose in transit. Uh, nowadays, you know, FedEx, UPS, they just throw boxes around. So if, if you find yourself that the computer um, doesn't do anything when, when it uh, doesn't show any output when, um, when you power it up, uh, this might be something that you have to do when, uh, when, when, when you receive it so that um, instead of just getting a green light, you actually get something on the screen. So let me, let me show you uh, the steps to do that on this model. And this will work with any of these small form factor machines. They're very modular, so they're very easy to get inside and take a look. So um, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is uh, find this 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 um, this latching mechanism up back here. Basically, this panel comes off. So what I do is I lay it flat like that, and I pull this latch like this and it this entire panel pops open and you just lift it up and it basically hinges when you put it back it just hinges on these on these so you the, to put it back you do the exact opposite you just so the memory modules are these units down here these four ones one two Three, four. This machine has uh, two gigabytes of RAM installed, and uh, in order to access it, you need to do a couple of things. Okay, so to get the most access to it, what I recommend doing is sliding the uh, the uh, the optical drive out of the way, the CD drive. So you lift this blue panel, and then you push in. So you, as you lift this, you push in the drive, and that lets you move this out of the way just like that and the other thing that you and and just like that you can you have access to the to the memory so what i recommend to do is you you unclip the memory so each one of these has this little clips at the end so it's sufficient that you just push down on one two three four and on, and, and on the other side, you could do the same thing, but if you lift it up, you can just remove it like that. Okay, so that one goes there. You should put it back in the same order. And what I do is I, I reseat one by one. So I, I, I unclipped all four, but what I do is I, I go ahead and do one by one so that they go back where they belong. And what I do is I open up the clips on the ends you see how that 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 clip right there is open. This is uh, how it's closed, and then if I push down on it, let me get that a better shot of you. Maybe the white one is better. So over here, for example, this is the closed position. Make sure they're both open because that's how they they need to be to receive the the module back. And then you put the module into the guides, so at the end they have these little guides where they slide in. Okay, they slide into the guide, and then in the middle, you push like this. All four, all, I, I, I evenly distribute the, the weight of my hand with the pressure from my hands, my fingers across the entire module, and then I just push in until it clicks on both sides. So you you, you push on, on each side, one, and then you push on the other side, two, until it clips in. And you repeat the process for for all four. So open up on both sides and then you, usually it's sufficient to just do one side, but if you wanna be more thorough, you, you do, like I can just unclip and push back in. And now, everything make sure that both sides are clipped in and then to, to 
to verify that everything worked, you slide this guy, this, 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 this drive goes back in. So let me line it up. You line it up there and then you just like, you push forward until it clips and that's it. And we're gonna power it up. So put the vid, VGA, VGA cable, get the power cord. Sorry. Get the power cord and stick it in there. And now we're gonna power it up. Green light. And the screen shows the Dell screen. And there you have it. Computer boots up. So hopefully that'll help you out. Uh, you can you, remember you have to just like lift this tab up, push the drive in, move it out of place for it temporarily while you remove while you toggle the clips for each memory module. Let me know in the comments if that helped you out. Thank you.